This video was recorded in front of a live virtual audience. Hi everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to the Fashion Bunker. Today we are strolling down perfume niche lane. Sounded weird. And we will be testing blindly, without knowing what they are ahead of time, niche perfumes together. So before we get to it, uh, if you like my channel, please consider subscribing to it now and push the join button next to the subscription button. Become a member today and gain access to extra perks. You can also join me on Patreon, Super Dig of All Spelled Together, where you also get access to extra perks, amongst others, extra videos, and also your name and the rolling credits at the end of every video as a co-producer of The Fashion Bunker. I would like to thank my members and patrons for, who have already pledged. Thank you guys so much. And thank you to my co-chatters who are reviewing, who are going to be smelling and reviewing these perfumes with me live because this is recorded. This video is being recorded live in front of a virtual audience. Also, don't forget to like this video. Very important for the YouTube algorithm. Like, 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 thumb up this video to let YouTube know that what we're doing here is good. So you guys, um, here goes, here goes nothing. I got my little satchel with perfumes here to test out some uh, niche perfumes. Let's let's see what 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 happened with the first one. I'm just I'm gonna pull one out of the bag. Oh, okay. Yeah, guys. Can somebody please, this is something we do every time we do the a niche perfume testing or perfume testing in general. Can somebody please, because I don't have the time to do it, can somebody just like check out the notes and the perfume or whatever. When I tell you what perfume this is, can somebody like Google to, to let us know what the notes are so we can like go into detail. Um, this one is Parfum Quartana Wolfsbane. Here is a close-up perfumes or Parfum Quartana or Cartana, Wolfsbane. If anybody can Google this one, checks it out so that we can, oh, we got, yeah. Delete, delete, delete. Block, block, block. <laughs> so I am going to, oh, this is exciting. Parfums Quartana, Wolfsbane. Ooh, okay, this already out of the nozzle smells amazing. But hold on, you guys. You know how difficult it is to spray these little tiny vials. And I don't want to lose any because this seems to smell, I mean, just like this. Well, let's see. Okay, here it goes. Okay. It smells like niche stuff that we're used to since quite some time. I don't know, you know, it's like, oh, okay. It's quite rosy. Um, truffle, oh, thank you, Lanyard. Truffle, absinthe, tuberose, fig, leaf, tobacco, blossom, benzoin, angelica, patchouli, cumin, vetiver, castorium, ginger, cedar, and sandalwood. Yeah, Rara, Lanyard beat you to it. <laughs> hmm. Thank you so much, Lanyard, and thank you so much, Rara. And Rara also added spicy black plum vetiver deer tongue black. I smell rose, but maybe it's the fig leaf. Ginger root, absinthe, patchouli, cedarwood, tuberose, tobacco flower, the tobacco flower, castorium, benzoin, sandal. You guys. Oh, factor story says a lot of stuff. LOL, deer tongue. Yeah, I mean, it's a it, it, if you if you say deer tongue to me, and it, and deer tongue happens to not be a plant, and I'm just smelling it like it could be something else. Um, it's like maybe it's a plant called deer tongue, but to me, it, you know, if you say deer tongue and you're calling it wolf spain, wolf spain is a plant, but if I think about meat. <laughs> It, it could smell meaty, but it's, to me, mm, 
it's it doesn't warrant a full bottle it gives me a vibe like I don't know. Um, niche that we know. It doesn't catapult me. It's a little bit of a potpourri of things as well. So it's also like a mix of a little bit of like rouge uh, malachit uh, or uh, or vert malachit from Armani. It's kind of like those two blending together. It's definitely something we've smelled before, you guys. It's not like, oh my God, remember like last week when I did the burning leaves, when I smelled that, I was like blown away. This one is like, oh yeah, niche, smells niche. But nothing that you, you would wish to wear. It's kind of bland, to be honest with you, because it smells of like a generic. <laughs> yes, we've come to that point, you guys. There is such a thing as generic niche. And this is it. Sorry. Sorry, Wolfsbane. Brandon says, dogwood oil is beautiful. Um, Dionysian doll says, niche mish, right? Right. <laughs> hmm. Lush has a lovely perfume called ginger. I love it. Uh, a bit flat, but it's very original. Hmm. I love rouge malachite. Um, yeah, but also the, the vert malak malakite or malachite is also interesting. But, you know, well, maybe then you would like this one. But to me, this is like, it's complex, but it doesn't tell me a story. It's flat at the same time. I, I don't know. It's a type of scent, though. This is a type of scent that triggers me in that direction. And maybe some other people would really love it. But to me, it doesn't scream like, <gasps> okay, this is where it's at. This is worth it, however much they want for a bottle. To me, personally, not. But I do recognize the quality, but just not not it for me. Rouge Mala, yeah. <laughs> oh, Emilio. Okay, you guys, are you ready for number two? Number two is Timothy Hand, The Decay of the Angel. Now, Jack is going to love the name of this one. Jack Dean, my dear. Timothy Hand, The Decay of the Angel. This is something, I think, at least... In terms of the name of this perfume, it's right up Jack's alley. If Jack, if you're in the chat, uh, Timothy Han, The Decay of the Angel. If anybody can get us the notes out, that would be wonderful. Thank you guys so much. I'm going to open it up and going to try to spritz it, you know. Uh, artistic, yeah, right? Niche mish perfumes are overrated, in my opinion, says Mr. Philip Fabulous. In most cases, there are. There are some incredible ones, like, don't throw away my carnal flower, because I really love it. And, you know, I still have old school with real sandalwood, Lorenzo Villoresi's Sandalo. It's intense. Okay, so we're going to try it out. If anybody... Mm -hmm. If anybody can uh, get us uh, the notes, that would be highly appreciated. Oh, it's one of those thick ones, like oils. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, now this is more up my alley. It's not, again, it's not something we've never smelled before. Oh, Lanyer, thank you so much, sweetie Dolly. Chiara Incense. Lanyer is sending us the ingredients. Chiara Incense, Olibanum, Mandarin Orange, Rose Neroli. Or, 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 okay. Hold on. <laughs> Top notes, Chiara Incense, Olibano, Mandarin, Orange Rose, Neroli. Middle notes, Jasmine, Sambac, Cade Oil, Acacia. Base notes, Agarwood, Oud, Patchouli, Tonka Bean, Cedar, and Labdanum. Now, you guys, this one does have the Oud listed in it, but it ain't Oud heavy at all. I ain't a fan of the Oud, you know. Although... Jack, this one's for you, I think. You would love this one. Oh, Rara, thank you, Rara. So sweet of you. Well, let's read again the ingredients Rara sent us. So cute. I'm going to read everyone who sends me the ingredients. You're, oh, you guys, thank you so much. Okay, Rara says, Decay of the Angel, top, Mandarin, Neroli, Rose, Ilang Ilang, Frankincense, Heart Notes, Sambuk, Jasmine, Ac Acacia, or Acacia, um, Kate, 
Cade. Cade base oud. Oh, it's like one word, but it's separate. Okay, the base is oud, cedarwood, patchouli, tonka, and labdanum. Jack, uh, thank you so much also for sending the notes. Top ma mandarin, neroli rose, ilang ilang, frankincense. Heart, sambuk, jasmine, acacia. Acacia, acacia what? Cade, base is oud, cedarwood, patchouli, tonka, and labdanum. I knew you would love the name, Jack. Oh, goodbye, Lanyard. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you, sweetie. Have a wonderful dinner. You guys, I would buy this one. Okay? Timothy Hahn, The Decay of the Angel. And I knew Jack was going to love the name. It's not the rude ood, as I like to say. Oh, Lanyard, that's a good one. It's not the rude ood. Yeah, it's the good ood. Rich Mitch says, I'm not huge on oud. Rich, this is not oud. It, it doesn't go that oud way like oud Ispahan does, you know? This sounds like something I'd love. Uh. Oh, it's on my to try list, says Jack. You know what, Jack? Thank you, Rara. Thank you, Jack. And thank you, Lanyard, for sending the ingredients. Brendan says, the first oud I smelled that I am aware of was oud from the Lilabo the other day. It smelled of grape candy to me. You guys, this is... Uh, Rich Mitch, trust me. This is not that type of oud, okay? This is not about the oud at all. At least in the opening notes on a piece of paper. I mean, I don't know how the dry down is going to be, but it's... This is something I would buy. It's not particularly groundbreaking or anything, but there's a, maybe the name, is, I'm biased to the name. But the decay of the angel, there's something rotting about it. It does evoke elevation. You know, you could imagine this winged creature that's supposed to be ethereal, but, but it, it felt, you know, like Lucifer was an angel before, before it became what it was. You know, it's kind of fallen down to the dirt and to the ground and it's decaying. There, it, it, It's sweet and bitter at the same time. It's powdery, but fleshy. It's a fleshy, powdery smell. It's... Let me put um, a little tick on that one because this one is worth trying, you guys, a little bit more in depth. Timothy Hahn or Timothy Hahn, The Decay of the Angel. Uh, Olfactive Story says, Oud can smell like poop sometimes. Yeah, it, not in here. Olfactive Stories, it is the most soft and elegant. It's very, very delicate, delicate, delicate perfume. I mean, it has character, but there's none of that weird stuff. This one is, uh, it's interesting. I would... Um, they call them different stages. Interesting, says Jack. The website sells different versions of this one. And they, every version of this one, they call them different stages. Yeah, Debbie says, angels have fallen. Yeah, it's the good oud. <laughs> Rara says, oh, good? Yeah, it's good, it's good, it's good, Rara. Kira says, nice. This one is, is, is elegant. Mm, Kira says, okay, now I have to sample it. Oh, hi, Isaac. Welcome to the chat. I think this decant is from that subscriber's mail you got last year. Am I wrong? Two years ago. You're right, Isaac. It's from T. Yes, Miss Lucy first, says Emilio. You make it sound sexy, D, says Brendan. Would you date the fragrance? Oh, Brendan, honey, I date a fragrance every day. Actually, I date several fragrances a day because I a how. <laughs> I have fragrance how. I cheat on them. Then I we do a threesome. I layer them. It's a gangbang of fragrances. Let me tell you, honey, the fashion bunker, every corner of the fashion bunker has a different thing going on with a different fragrance. Just saying. And you know what is annoying me is actually that the when I sprayed the first, you see how annoying this first wolf's bane is not really working for me. But I, as I sprayed it first, I have it a little bit on my finger as well, my thumb. So I'm kind of, it's mixing with the other one and, it's, and I really smell out the wolf's bane and it's irritating me. So let me try to put this on the mic and smell it off the mic. So I don't have my finger touching it. Mm. 
Oh my God, this is so ASMR. Are you going to hear my sniff? Do you hear me sniff? Do you hear me inhaling the smell? This is so bizarre. We've never done this before. Listen to me inhaling. Wait, let me completely... Listen to me inhale. This is kind of... Maybe maybe it's creepy too. But anyway, let's do it. We're perfumistas. <sighs> okay. Oh, char. Hold on. It's slightly smoky as well. You know what? We're going to do this all the time. I'm just going to put the little tissue on the mic. <laughs> oh, this is good. On paper, it's really good. Okay, I'm not going to bother you too much with it, but the Decay of the Angel, I'm going to try to get me one of these. But I have a little bit of a sample left, so I'm going to test it on my skin. You know, not you know during this live stream, we've been reviewing perfumes. I have them sprayed on my skin, so I'm not going to test it on my skin just yet. I'm going to do it like tomorrow after I've washed everything, so that um, I don't have them. I don't have it mixed with other fragrances uh, because I don't have much of it. Otherwise, I would just spray it off now. But I want to make sure that it's just on my skin without other perfumes, and that I can really test it and see how it develops because it could go either way on the skin. You know, things can go really wrong on the skin. But it's very light and it I'm enjoying it. It's delicate. It's not an overpowering thing. It looks dirty, says Debbie. I just want to take a sniff me. <laughs> Brandon says fragrance orgy. Ah. Jack says, I shall be smelling the sample of this soon. Is there some setting powder on the mic? <laughs> yes, there is. Candy Puff. Oh my, that better be a tissue. Yes, it is a tissue. It's a white tissue though. Sniff, sniff. I sniff, says Brandon. This looks so wrong. I know you guys. I'm sorry. Okay, I don't have to do it again. Um, LOL, this is group, you guys. Scented drugs, says Brandon. Drugs are bad. Um, okay, says Rich Mitch. He's like, one second. <laughs> I can't. Oh my God, you got perfume does give me quite the high. So yeah, blow on it to warm it up, girls. Is Kira? Oh my God, she's doing fragrant. Oh, okay. you guys can't let a drop go to waste. No, 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 you can't. Yeah, this is so funny because I'm putting it literally. It's on the mic. The mic is right down here. Now it's now the tissue is laying on the mic. So in order for me to smell, I gotta go close to the mic, and then you you hear me you hear me smell it right. You hear me sniffing right. Oh my God, it's also leathery. There's a little leather in there as well, like the leather of the angel. Now you remember my love for Hermesson's uh, Queer d'Ange, but Queer d'Ange is a living angel. This one is a dying angel. It's it's the smell of a dying, the decay of an it. Not bad. Let's go to number three, you guys. Oh wait, no, this is House of Major, oh sorry. No wait, this is not a perfume. These are actually little instances, hold on. <gasps> we got almost nothing left. Oh. Okay, next one. Oh, you guys! Diane Angelica Flores just subscribed. Thank you so much for subscribing, sweetie. Last week we were testing out, we got, remember, Burning Leaves? We got another one from CBI Hate Perfume. CBI Hate Perfume, we're gonna test out Second Coming. And yes, it's spelled the way you think it's spelled, with a U. Just saying, let me close it up for you. CB I Hate Perfume, Second Coming. <laughs> let's, you know, let's just go for a... If anybody can please find the notes for CB I Hate Perfume, Second Coming. I would be very grateful. Oh, thank you, Jack. Thank you so much. I'm going to get to the notes just in a bit. Let me just take the sticker off, the protective sticker. I'm, I'm, I mean, you know how much I loved burning leaves. So I'm really curious about this one. Oh, damn. I kind of fired in the... <laughs> okay. Hold on. Let me put it on the mic. And let's seal it off so I don't forget to do that. So that I don't mix up my samples, that they all have to stay in there. Okay. <laughs> this is one of those olfactory trajectories that's supposed to really give you a hint of sweat and stuff. Let's just read it. Um, 
Sharing is caring, says Brandon. Congrats on another sub. Thank you. Thank you all. Oh, second coming. No, they went there. What a chat, says Kenfa. Okay, Jack says, top notes are whiskey, pine, pepper, bergamot, and malt. Middle notes are tobacco, fur, rubber. Yeah, I get a lot of the rubber. And heather. Base notes are leather, soil tincture, rubber, peat, and truffle. It's like one of those conceptual perfumes that represents something conceptually, but it ain't something you crave to wear. Oh, it, it's stuffy. Cloggy stuffy. It's not sweet. Not None of that stuff. It's not cloying in a way. It's dry and stuffy. And it just like stops there and it, it kind of like plumps up there. Uh... Mr. Philip Fabulous says, oh my God, this review is a total whack. What do you mean? Brandon says, that could be the name of a Madonna song. Which one? Oh my God, this I'm loving these names. Second coming, says Kira. Candy Fluff, not with that tissue, just saying. Oh my God, second coming with this tissue. No, it's a little bit too small for that, isn't it? Oh, it looks interesting too. It probably... It probably smells like the first coming, just less concentrated. Oh, Mr. Philip Fabulous. Somebody has been in lockdown for way too long. Still can't get over. Oh, wait. So still can't get over D doing lines off his phone. Cha. Not on the mic again. Yeah, I did. Is it salty? Uh, Debbie asks. You could say it has a salty accord. You know, but it's not like the salty that we think like when we think, oh, well, manatee, it has that savory accord. This is the type of sweat salty, body salt from sweat um, or a pretzel, like a little tiny dried out pretzel, that type of salty. The reaction was priceless. Jacob, is that a choker? Oh, no, it's just a T-shirt, and then I have a... It's La Croix, sweetie darling. By the way, like this live stream. Like this video, you guys. Sum up this video. We want to let the algorithm know that what we're doing here is fun, so YouTube shares it more. Please like this video. Thumb it up if you like this video, you guys. Bleach? No, it doesn't smell like bleach. It's salty, all right. I mean, <laughs> not, not that type of salty. Tobacco. Rubber. Hmm. Latex for sure. Mm, no. It's like latex that's dried out in the sun and it gets that dried out smell. So it's supposed to smell like a European club dark room. Yeah, kind of has that vibe going for it. No, not latex, Debbie. Um, Robert, I have an idea where that might come from, says Mr. Philip. Fabulous. Maybe latex? No, it ain't latex. Latex for sure. Mm. It's like, you know, <laughs> I mean, it's like not like a pretzel. Sticky floor. Next perfume is sticky floors. Gotta love a dark room, says Jack. Maybe latex? I Guys, I know it doesn't smell like latex. But now that you've repeated latex a thousand times, now I'm starting to think it smells like latex. But it doesn't smell like latex to me. But it like stops there. It doesn't like invade me my you know like burning leaves was just like whoa this shuts me down burning leaves opens me up from the same perfumer so maybe it was uh, the second coming's intention but yeah test it out if you're into conceptual fragrances because this one is not the type of thing you're going to be like oh what am i going to wear today the whole day let me wear second coming no it just that ain't it all right <clears throat> brendan says I repeater, savory to sweet. I don't know what I want to call it. Mm. Savory is more attractive in fragrance than more sweet ones to me. All right. Now, okay, now we're going to do Dem Demeter, Dem Demeter, holy water. And hit it, Amelia, with Madonna's Don't It Taste Like Holy Water. Like holy water, don't it taste like holy water. Like holy water. Anybody got the anybody got time for that? Anybody got time for that to tell us the ingredientes of Demeter's holy water? Uh, 
Okay, you guys. I'm going to open it up. Okay. Jeez, Louise. Okay, this one is not spraying. Hold on. <laughs> cantaloupe and alcohol. <laughs> That's like the first thing I get. Cantaloupe, a bunch of cantaloupe and alcohol. Oh, and now it's watermelon. Now I turn to watermelon. No, feta cheese. <laughs> Cha, if this is holy water, I ain't going to church no more. Because if the priest's going to put that holy water, oh, oh no. Don't you put your holy water in my face. Demeter, holy water. What y'all's got to say about the ingrediente mentes? It's like watermelon bubble, bubble gum. Like watermelon bubble gum. Kiss it better, make it wetter, cha. Yeah, that's the song, cha. This is a Madonna production, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yes, yes. Yes, she's sponsoring today's video, Madonna, darling. It's Madge. No, she ain't. She wishes she was. Um, oh, by the way, I dreamt of her the other night. She was in her, like, kind of shaved eyebrows, early 90s phase, like, early show. She was knocking on the window. She wanted to get into my bedroom for some reason. I don't remember how the dream went from there. Watermelon and feta, says Debbie. Yeah, kind of. Oh, yes, Mr. Philofabulous. Madge is the next guest. Jesus. <laughs> Candy Fluff says, we're taking it from the club to the church, chow. Can't find the notes anywhere, says Jack Dean. Watermelon and feta. Someone's like a material ray of stories. Ooh, the quotes, the puns. Maybe it's the priest's holy water. Uh-uh, says Emilio. Kira says pass. Ew, Debbie, <laughs> says Brandon. Jack says ingredients aren't online <laughs> for a reason. Somebody ate the cantaloupe, watermelon, and feta cheese. It's not that nasty, but it has a feta acidity to it that feta cheese has, and then it has that watermelon zhuzh. I know, Emilia, watermelon and feta taste amazing together with white bread. They do. People do salads with watermelon and feta. I guess Jesus is like it dirty best, just like Madonna says. Brendan says, Madge is actually watching this with me right now. Brendan, send my love to Her Majesty and tell her we love the, the last filters she's been using on her Instagram profile. Um, Jack says, I dreamt I was being choked to death by a demon. Oh, so Madonna came to visit you too? <laughs> Lovely, we had the same dream. She's a vampire, says Debbie. Yeah, I can't find listed notes, says Rara. I don't want to smell like feta, says Jack. But I love the taste. I love the taste of feta, too. I love grapes and cheese, says Brandon. Yeah, yellow, like yellow cheese, like aged cheese with a grape, not feta with cheese. Grapes and fragrances have been a thing for me. Yeah, her filter, Brandon. Ciao. So since she's sitting next to you, tell her, ciao. Tell her. Tell her from all of us in the fashion bunker about Madge's filters, you tell her. Cha. Anyway, <laughs> Rara is laughing. Okay, yes, Madonna was choking me. Okay, wait, let me put this on the mic so my fingers that have other perfume sprayed on them don't smell it. So I'm going to do the mic thing. Hold on a second. <laughs> this is so wrong. I know you guys. It does smell like watermelon, cantaloupe, and feta. I mean, what can I tell you? Like, maybe I'm totally whack now after all of this. Tan. I mean, it's interesting. But do I want to wear it? No. Remember when Madonna was doing an interview in her bathroom and a huge rat was walking behind her? Yes, Amelia, I remember. Um, Mr. Philip Fabulous asks, what drugs was the perfumer on? Probably weeds. And then he got super hungry. Brandon says, LOL, joking, she's not next to me. I figured that out, Brandon. But thank you for clarifying. 
and forgot the concept of the perfume. Oh, and made a gourmand perfume instead. It's so wrong, it's right, says Debbie. Oh, yes. It feels so wrong, it's right. Uh, Candy Puff says, Eau de Champagne. Oh, my God, you guys. Really, are we going to really go there? This video is getting a treatment for sure, says Amelia. WTF, Jacob. You're so cute. Oh, thank you, Brandon. Um, are you going to listen to me on... What is that? Char... Well, raw, 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 char... Oh, my God. I'm like... Boy, like, we're going to review Vivian Wessel's Boudoir. Boy, you will die. Anyway, guys, these were the four. These were the four we tested this week. Let's go through them again. Parfum, Quartana, Wolfsbane. Child, that ain't it. It's it's nice, pleasant, dainty. Dainty niche. Dainty nichery. Then we got Timothy Hahn, The Decay of the Angel. Oh, child, she going smoky now. Oh, this angel is burning now. Oh, this angel is dust now. Oh, this angel is gone now. Oh, praise the decayed angel. Jesus, Lord, I see our Savior. This is a good one. CB, I hate perfume. Second coming. <laughs> it's gag reflect. Like, literally. Demeter, holy water. Watermelon and feta. There you have it, you guys. That's the world of niche. That That's niche for you. You got a little feta, a little cum, a little jizz, a little chiz, a little watermelon, a little bit of oud. Now, this is the craziest perfume testing I've ever seen. Glad I ain't sleeping at 2 a.m., says Mr. Philip Fabulous. Tainty. Brendan says, Jacob is getting buckwall. He's hinted at something, something. Isaac says, Jacob, have you ever tried vintage fracas? No. I don't, I don't have a bottle from the 30s. Oh, no, fracas from the 40s. I don't have one. Now Jacob is becoming a televangelical. Praise the perfume lord, our savior. Uh, um, the angel turned to ashes. Yeah, says Rara. Rara. Brendan says, but you need a face, Drac, to breathe. A little aubergine cheese, perhaps? Yes, Emilio. But you guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Let's cue in the um, credits. I have vintage fracas parfum. Oh, Debbie, that's good. Such a fun review, you guys say. Thank you so much for tuning in, you guys. This is niche. It's what you get. A little jizz, a little chiz. A little oud, a little schmood. It's a little concept, a little wearable, a little bit cliche, a little bit niche. That's what it is. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this crazy perfume testing video, niche testing video, thumb it up and subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. Uh, you can also push the join button next to the subscription button. Become a member today. Get access to extra perks. Join me on Patreon, Super Deco Balls Spelled Together. Also get uh, gain access to extra perks and Get your name also on, rolling on the end titles here and credits as a co-producer of the Fashion Bunker. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. You know, we've been chatting live here with our wonderful uh, Fashion Bunker family and I mean, it's all fun and games. You know, no disrespect meant to all of these perfumers. Hey, if you can't take yourself um, with a little bit of joke, meaning if you're taking yourself too seriously, then life ain't for you. You gotta, you gotta laugh a little. And the best is to laugh about yourself. So we're doing this with lightheartedness. We're doing this just enjoying life, enjoying the fact that perfumes take us places. Sometimes they take us to wonky places. Sometimes they take us to funky places. Sometimes they take us to dark, sad places. Sometimes they take us to light, elevated places. It doesn't matter where it takes you. As long as it takes you, and that's why perfumes are so magical. And even in, even in this case, even if something smells of feta, with watermelon it still has a story to tell so that's all i got to say uh hope you've enjoyed this video again thumb it up follow me on instagram facebook twitter super dick of all spelled together and uh join me on my you know um fragrance journeys as well as fashion journeys because this channel is all about perfumes and fa fashion and perfumes are really interrelated you guys i know a lot of people who are doing perfumes and strictly perfumes they're like Oh, no, we don't, no, no, fashion is something else. It's very similar 
fashion has a smell as well, and perfumes have a fashion sense as well. So they coexist in my book. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all so much. Until next time, never forget to never give up on fragrant niche love. Love you all. See you soon. Take care. Bye.